Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please press the red subscribe button. Today I thought I will talk to you about this camera. This is the Nikon F601, also known as the Nikon N6006 in the US. So this camera is actually the first SLR camera that I own. I got it in year 2002, that is about 18 years ago and I have it since then. So uh, today I'm not going to do a full review of this camera because I believe there is a lot of articles and uh, YouTube videos that talk about this. But instead, I'd like to uh, just say a few points on what I like about this camera and another few points of what I feel that this camera is uh, lacking. Okay, so the first thing that I should mention about this camera that I like most is the metering mode that's available in this camera. Uh, it has three modes, the matrix, uh, center weighted and the spot. And you can press this uh, metering button and turn the wheel, it will cycle through the three different mode, matrix, center weighted, and spot, right? So uh, most commonly used uh, metering mode that I, that I use is the matrix. It's very accurate, uh, very good for shooting slight film, where metering is quite critical. Basically, it will take about uh, reading from five areas and then uh, give you the exposure settings that you should use. I also like that this has a spot meter. I think some other brands camera, uh, especially the entry levels, will not have this spot metering mode. Okay, the other function that I like about this camera is the bracketing function. That means it actually takes a few shots with a slight difference in the exposure. So here you can see the bracket button. To set the bracketing function, you can press down on the shift key and then the hold down on the bracket button and then turn the wheel. Right. So in this case, like in this case, you will be taking three frames with a difference in one stop. So it will take like a minus one stop, a zero stop and plus one stop. So three frames with different exposure and then uh, from there you can choose the best shot uh, with the best exposure right so very useful function if you are shooting slides where the lighting condition is a bit tricky so you do not know how it will how the camera will cope with the default uh, metering exposure so you can try to do some brackets okay the next function i think is not very uh, uncommon among camera but it's nice that this camera has it that means you are able to either uh, manually set the ISO or let the camera read the uh, DX uh, coding on the film itself right so in cases where if the film canister come with the DX coding then the camera will able to read the ISO that is encoded here and set the ISO correctly but there are certain uh, film like this one is from Adox uh, Scala 160 it does not have the DX encoding here so in this case we can actually set the ISO manually on the camera so to do that we can just press on the ISO button and here you can see that we can actually set the ISO okay so this is also good if you are trying to push your film right uh, let's say this is a uh, uh, HP5 you put HP5 that is ISO 400 if you put it in the camera will detect from the DX code that is ISO 400 but to push the film you want to set to ISO 800 you can actually uh, manually set the ISO here right rather than doing uh, the changes in the aperture or the shutter speed itself okay sum up a few points that I like about this camera um, the other thing I, that I like about this camera is of course the price uh, this is not a cult uh, camera uh, nobody's chasing after it so you can actually get it online quite cheap right um, this is an electronic uh, based camera 
So there's always a risk that the one day the electronics board in the camera may fail. So if you want to pick up, you may pick up uh, more than one body. I keep one at a spare. Okay, what is uh, the few things that I don't like about this camera? Uh, I think first of all is the battery. Uh, the battery used to be a very common in the uh, film days. Uh. This is the CRP2, right? It's known by it's also known by some other names, but uh, the one that's uh, stated here is CRP2. It's the six volt uh, lithium battery. It's getting harder to find them this day. You need to go to some uh, specialized uh, battery shop or buy them online. And although it can last for quite a while. Sometimes uh, when you need them, uh, when you need the camera, the battery fall flat, then uh, you can't do any shooting. So what I did is to actually have a spare battery always around, keep it uh, unopened so that it can retain its battery power and bring it along if I go for long trips where I bring this camera along. Mm, the other thing that I uh, miss about having on this camera is the depth of view button. Eh? where you can press on one button and then the aperture uh, will close down to what it was set on the camera and uh, you can actually uh, see the depth of field that's in the image so this one does not have it's not a killer but uh, it's nice to have it on my other camera and I sort of miss it here you will see that this uh, camera actually come with a built-in uh, uh, flashlight right? So, but however, if you want to use it with stroke, you'll find that there's no uh, PC uh, sync cord, nah, which is still a very common way of uh, triggering a uh, remote or a stroke. Right? So what we can do is that we can get something like this, right? a hot shoe adapter that has a PC sync socket here. Right? Okay. So what we can do is that we can uh, attach these accessories to the hot shoe, right? And then uh, use this uh, PC sync socket here. Okay. So again, it's not a, a killing point, but um, just something extra that you have to get, right? So what I have on my um, light box is some slides that were taken with this uh, Nikon F601 camera. Um, this is taken in Vietnam. Uh, you can see that the color rendering is very nice. The metering of this uh, F601 camera is very accurate. It copes well with all these uh, tricky light um, situations where there's a lot of um, highlights and shadows very strong highlights and uh, deep shadows uh, so I'm going to run a slideshow in this video so sit back and enjoy the photos let me know which one is your favorite Okay guys, this is the end of the video. Do subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Please also comment, like and share out this video. So take care and I see you at my next video.